try to make a short video on how to put a Brummel lock eye loop in a piece of the 764th Amstel steel, pretty new to it. Um, just cut the length we want, go ahead and double it over here. Make sure you leave plenty for the tail end, you know, seven, eight inches is, is plenty on this small stuff, I believe. Make the eye loop the size you want. Something like that, whatever size you want. Use a sharpie and make a couple of marks on that. It's hard to see with this. It'd be easier if we had lighter rope. You can kind of just go by look too, though. So the first thing we want to do is open up a, a hole on the long end. Just like it's on the same piece of rope, but we're going to pass the short remaining tag end through there. Pencil, mechanical pencil or pen for this and just open up that hole and push it through. I happen to have this little fid. Works okay for this part. Just help you get it through there. Not really necessary. Okay. So you would pull through until you see until you see your mark. If you were being specific about the size of the loop you wanted to make. I'm not really that concerned about it. If you can't see your mark, just eye up the loop. Now we're gonna pass the long end through the short tag end. So we're just past our loop. Sorry, it's past our loop. Kind of like to keep it on the same plane. Gonna try to find the middle ground. If you wanna separate them in the middle the best you can. Pop a hole through. And now we're gonna pass the long end through. Let's pull that through. And we can see that, that will just pull down nicely. And when you cinch that down, they will just pull together. Yeah. Pull from your eye loop. There you go. And those will dress right up to each other and there we go we got the loop now we want to go ahead and try to bury this end this is the part i was having some trouble with earlier the hardest part of it we want to bury this short tag end down through here when i've left it plenty long i'll end up cutting some of that off um, what i like to do is take this end and rip it apart with a needle or a pencil or we'll down just kind of unthread it and I'm going to take away okay. half of those strands so this is eight eight stranded I'm going to take four of them cut them right off just to help it pass through Let's see if this works Stuff cuts pretty, pretty tough material. So that's ready. Now we come down here, we check our length. And we want to start, you know, somewhere near the end here. Actually, you can go beyond the end, but like I say, I've made this plenty long. Just start opening this rope up. Just push it. It's hollow, obviously. You probably don't have to open all the way out, but I just kind of get it all loosened up. All the way up to your splice. Now we've got this this loop turner. It's called. I don't really understand or know what the real purpose for it is, but it's got this little hook on the end that you can put the rope in and caption it and pull it back through. So we just open it up. It doesn't really lock open or shut. I'm just gonna get that started in this rope. You gotta go easy with this stuff, huh? And I instantly went right through. Again. Just gonna get 
thread it in there. I'm just gonna use this. And I'm gonna poke through. We're coming all the way up. As close as we can to the joint. And it's nice if we can you can protrude, right? So this will lay flat. You can picture this laying flat here. So you want to try to come out as close as you can to the short end and so it will actually lay without twisting too much. There we go. Alright. This is where we get a little tricky. Now we want to caption these remaining four separate strands. I don't know. I tried halfway up them, something like that. They should just bend over, but then you you close this little loop on them. But like I say, it doesn't it doesn't lock. It just folds, and just the pressure of it, you know, holds it shut and captions those. So let's get it get it up close. Now we should be able to start our pull. And I've seen on a couple other videos, it helps to pull saw and wiggle while you do it. <laughs> I think that's kind of the the tip, you can pull those right out of there real easy. So to me, it seems like the harder I pull, the worse this goes. That's kind of the, the thought of this. It locks down on itself. So you just want to go real easy and loose with it. And just kind of wiggle it. Keep taking that along there. Pull more than one of them off. Just keep wiggling it and working it slow. So you're home free. Okay. Hardest part's over. Now we're home free. We pulled that through, so we've got our end through. Now we want to taper the end. And it helps to, again, loosen it up just a little bit. Come down, I don't know, a couple inches on it. And just start down there and just try to grab a single strand. And start low versus high. Low meaning closer to the to the splice so we pull one out go up a little bit higher the reason to start low is so you're not pulling the same thread out i've done that wrong a few times grab another one up a little bit pull it out something like that and we already had a couple out on the other end so i think that'll that'll splice down pretty good there we go and we just cut those off all it's doing is just giving it a little bit of a taper you can see that, just pull them and sharp knife, cut them off. This stuff is really tough. That tapers down. You can taper the end if you want. A little bit. Just smooth that down. Probably could go a little bit more there. If I can get it, take one out more out. Smooth that off. There we go. Okay. So we got that nice tapered tail there now. Now we just bury it. Just milk this extra line back down. Starting up here. Nice. Take it down. And we bury our rope. Actually, I had that tail plenty long. Let me pull that out a little bit. I had it too long. Cut her off. Check that. That's I forgot I had that extra tail. Plenty of tail actually. Let's stick out, so let's just do that again. Take a line out. Couple out. Just tape it up down. There we go. Now we should be able to bury it. There we go. That's better. There we go. 
pretty good knot or loop rather Here's that the girth hitch around anything and then get into a whoopee sling a little bit later which has a sliding knot but uh, very similar concept so that is that's how we deal with the 764s good luck